So sprains and strains, <coughs> and this thing which I put in red, overuse syndrome. So, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the medicine is full of acronyms, which is one of my pet hates, I must tell you. So who can tell who can help me with some of those acronyms? Can can you guess what they stand for? Occupational overuse syndrome. Occupational overuse syndrome. O O S. R S I. Fantastic. So now you're interesting, you've got to think of the words here. Now, so what is overuse? Overuse is I have used a part of my body more than it is capable of coping with. So you use something and it was first appeared like a like a brand new disease in the in, in about the eighties. When typewriters change, I can I can see my mother who was a she used to type sixty words a minute. She had a cigarette out the corner of her mouth, curlers in her head, and she'd go butter 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 on this old typewriter, and she never had a problem. But when they change to these tough touch, that's when occupational overuse syndrome suddenly appeared. It's worse with the mouse because we are hunter gatherers. We're designed to chase things and pick things and do things. We are not designed for sitting very still and using tiny, smaller and smaller movements. Everything tense, watching a screen, trying to get this blinking thing in there so you can press it. So we're not designed for these types of movement. That's where occupational overuse syndrome. So the words are important. Occupation, overuse, syndrome, collection of symptoms. Repetitive strain. Is there strain? Maybe. Injury. Is there an injury? Well, we'll discuss that. Next, CTD. Cumulative trauma disorder. So these are, I mean, this is just basically, if you don't know what's going on, create an acronym for it. <laughs> Next one, W R U L D, any punts? You're not allowed to be rude. <laughs> you can be rude. <laughs> Work related upper limb disorder. Okay, so what they've gone is. We know what's wrong, it's a repetitive strain injury and they've gone on to, we don't know what's wrong, it seems to be occurring with your work, it's in your upper limb, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so it's very difficult. So these are all the acronyms and, and an occupational overuse is the commonest reason that musicians will come and see you. Because that's what they do. They do repetitive complex thing movements which are pre precise and require you to adapt to this wacky instrument and there's stress and there's this and that and the other. So overuse injuries are the commonest reason that musicians will come and will, and will feel pain. Now I can't remember what's next. Ah, yes. And that's actually super important. There may or may not be signs of actual damage. And that's why those acronyms kept changing. Because people appeared and they said, my arm kills me. And then they had millions of scans, they had blood tests, they had all sorts of things, did biopsies, no matter what, and they found nothing. There was no injury. Was the pain real? Of course the pain was real. What's pain? Pain's a perception. It's an emotional and sensory perception. I'm suffering. I've got this pain. It's driving me nuts. The fact that you can't find anything doesn't mean I don't have pain. It means the tools you're using aren't adequate. So, why? And this is the squillion dollar question. If you guys can really answer this, um, you will be on and fix it. You will be on your very large yacht in the Bahamas next <laughs> week. <laughs> why do you have awful pain and no signs of damage? Psychological. I think you're on to something. Psychological means it is something to do with your brain. Very good. Is it like you made it up? Are all these people who've got this, these long-standing chronic awful pains, are they just kind of skiving off and...
Absolutely. When you test and you look at that part of the body, you find, in fact, there's no inflammation, there's no redness, there's no swelling, but it's sore, really sore. So the tests are, when you press on it, they say, ow, and you say, where's the pain? They say, it's here. But, okay, so what it's due to, I mean, this is work in progress from the medical profession, and there is, I don't know, 100,000 articles, period. This is what the current central and peripheral sensitization. If you're a surgeon, right now, you do not know this exists. <laughs> I'm being nasty. <laughs> but this is the current thinking about chronic pain. And a lot of overuse syndrome is due to sensitization. 